Hey, shalom, my shalom, and stuff. It was about giving all praise to you about Shem, Yah, Shah, about Shem, and Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS and honors you brothers doing the work in truth, what sincerity. Um, yeah, look, man, hey, what, what you going to watch? Man, it's black, it's black, and fuck the nigger woman, man. Fuck the nigger woman. Right? Now, I had to watch you call, I had to find, because I'd seen this earlier on and shared it with brothers, right? You know, and, uh, you know, I had to go, you know, do the, the you know, the quick Google, try to find, see, because the, the, the post I saw got taken down. Look, man, but it, 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 she ain't, she ain't, she ain't worthy to be having children, man. Right? So that ain't, that ain't how you fucking discipline a child. Now, this is what happens in these single parent households, right? You see another little, you know, another black woman saying, oh, she did right. Yeah, cool. All right, man. Yeah. So, okay, fair enough. Well, the kids, kid, I mean, but you see the way she's looking in the kid's face, calling them little nigger and shit, man. What, what the fuck is wrong with these women, man? Hey, that's why, hey, one thing, you got to be careful what you put your dick inside, man. Right? I mean, look look, look at it, look at the kid's shirt, man. What the fuck is wrong with these women? These fucking black women, man. Beating the child with a, with a whip like that in front of school teachers. Someone recording it, man. Right? Then what's going to happen? Right, they're going to get taken away, get put into child services, and then go and start being raised by, um, you know, by, by, uh, 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 you know, some homeward fucking sexuals, man. What the fuck is wrong with you people, you fucking nigger women, man? That little nigga, that little, that little Jake has no chance in life. If that's how you're going to discipline him, in public, right, for the whole internet to see, for the whole damn world to see... Right, and then people have found out your name, put out your name out there, right? What do you think's gonna happen to your child? Yeah, of course, yeah, the scriptures talk about you've got an unruly child, bring him, uh, what do you call it, bring him to the, uh, um, you know, to the elders or whatever, not whatever, but you know, you bring him to the elders, uh, 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 you know, and then the elders deal with them, but that's after a process, man. That's after a process, you, you know, you, you reprove him, you rebuke him. Right, but that ain't that ain't rebuke. That's just straight up abuse. When you when you when you discipline a child, you're supposed to then tell them, look, this is what you did wrong, and don't do it. Right, and that's why you have to have you know the the family structure in the house, man. Right, and then, you know you, you see people. Yeah, to the to the damn school, man. Have you no fucking discretion? And then, then these are the same women that going to be like, oh, you see, the, I mean, you watch that video, you can go back to the beginning, man. You see the way that, 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 that beast, you know, got all up in his face. What do you think them teachers going to do, man? So I'll say, yeah, you know, they're the same women that'll be complaining, oh, why do people say black women are so, uh, are so violent? Look, that's why. That's some nasty, foul-ass shit, man. This is Job 39, and we're going to start from verse 13. Right, it says, Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings or feathers unto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth, and warmeth them in the dust, and forgetteth that the foot may crush them, and that the wild beast may break them. Right, she is hardened against her young ones. Right, now this is referring to, you know, to these Israelite ones, and this, uh, you know, and in this case, a bloody nigger woman, man. She's hardened against her young ones. Yeah, it says, you know, which called peagles and ostrich, but we're going to get into that, right? It says, um, her labor is in vain without fear, right? Because the Mosai hath deprived her of wisdom to do that shit, right? You know, to discipline, not even dis. I ain't even going to call that discipline, to abuse your child like that, you know, in public, in a society, and it's, it's ain't ancient Israel. Right, this ain't ancient Israel. You can, you know, stone an unruly child because, yeah, you got to be real. Some of these children do have to be stoned, they have to be dealt with these grimy ass uh, 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 niggas, right? But if that's how you've been raised, what chance have you got? That's the kind of nigga that'll grow up a, a hella emotional, right? But then, because you know, because it's it, this this place is hell, right, for the children of Israel. Let's say he quote unquote made it in this life. What's he gonna do? He gonna be on that stage at the BET Awards, at the VMAs or whatever, right? And then what's he gonna say? I wanna thank my mama, right? 
Why? Because our, our, hey, it, 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 man, our, our people are through, man. Our people are through. Man, I'm just thinking if that was England, how I don't know how it is in America, but in England, you, <laughs> I don't, I don't see that kind of shit running in England, man. In England, I, I'm pretty sure we you call it, you know, you could call me wrong or not, but I'm pretty sure that one would have been arrested there and then, right? The cops would have been called. That would have been child abuse, right? And that would have been dealt with there and then. What did she say? She's like, I'm, I'm going to kill you. You're just going to say I'm going to kill you in front of fucking teach. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Right? It says, neither hath he imparted to our understanding. Right? So, I mean, what, you know, what, what about that? What we just saw was wise in it by any stretch of the imagination. Absolutely nothing. Right? It says, Deuteronomy 28 and 56. The tender and delicate woman among you which would not adventure to set her soul on the foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. So this, is, this is the curse that the Lord uh, put on our people, man. Where you got, you got something like that. That's your mother? Damn. If that's your mother, man, you ain't got no chance, man. And that's that. These are the same women that are raising these gremlins, man. That child gonna grow up and become a fucking gremlin, man. He ain't got no fucking chance in the world, right? It says and towards her son, yeah, especially to her son, man. Oh, you look like your daddy. Look, man, you you gotta you gotta you gotta be careful. Uh, uh, you know who who you who, you know who you get pregnant in this world, man. Who, what you put your penis into? Imagine, imagine that was your baby, mom, man. Fucking hell. But you know, hey, you niggas are part of the problem as well, cause she was probably just a bee. No, but he didn't care. No, he just wanted to bust his nut. He bust his nut, and I, you know, I don't know if he's there or not. But hey, knowing our people, more than likely he ain't. It says, Lamentations 4 and 3. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness. Right? So our, our women have become cruel, man. You know, but that's the curses. And then people have a problem with us when we say, look, we want a better world. We want a, we want a world where... That ain't on. That ain't. I mean, that, you, that was a bloody mob out one. What she gonna do? She gonna go back to her people, run and be like, "Look, man, this is the crazy shit that happened at school." And the worst thing, she don't report what just happened, and she's thinking, "Hey, shit, hey, I might lose my job." Hey, you know, uh, Miss uh, 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 Ling, why didn't you report what happened? Right? But she gonna go back to her people and say, "Yo, man, this, this, this is the children of Israel," right? Yeah, obviously she ain't gonna say the children of Israel, but that's who we are. It's gonna say, hey man, these, these niggas, man, you should have seen the way this woman uh, 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 dealt with it. You can't even call this beast, right? Dealt with their child, right? And that's for the whole world to see. And all of these, all of these heathen, and you know, we have truly become a byword among these nations, man. This is uh, Lamentations 2.15 All that pass by clap their hands at thee They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem Saying, is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty The joy of the whole earth Right So people are, people are look, looking You know, and, we're, and then we're out there telling them Hey, we're the, we're the chosen people of the most high Right, then they see You know, even on one of the videos that I um. You know, that, that, not the videos, uh, the, the original clip of that that I found, right? Um, it was basically one of the comments. He had the same, one of the pictures of Yahweh Shah that we have. I mean, the guy, him, you know, he was going off, you know, he, he calls uh, the name of um, our Lord Yeshua, which that's what his real name is. His real name is Yahweh Shai. And that's the, you know, what the whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shai. 
know, and his father's name is Yahweh, right? Where you know, on one hand, we're telling the people, uh, uh, you know, we're the children of Israel, and then they're then immediately going and seeing shit like that, and they say, well, these are the children of Israel, right? But once again, this is all to the glory of the Most High, right? So that when these things happen, they're gonna be like, oh shit, damn, they they were the children of the Most High. You can read that in Wisdom, the fifth chapter. Right? This is Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fell, the gathering shall not come. Right? So rise up, ye women that are at ease. When these women, all of them are at ease because ultimately they're protected by Esau. Right? They're protected by Esau. Now, if that was a dad who had done that in front of the school, who knows what kind of react? You know whether they would have reacted there and then immediately, right? You don't know. You know, let's say it was a dad and this woman, right? Whatever, what have you? Let's say it goes to court now. More than likely, right? The dad would have, you know, been, uh, get, you know, will be given a, 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 you know, a longer sentence. Right? Why? Because Esau was giving these women the liberty to basically do whatever the fuck they want with as little repercussion as possible. Right? It says, For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bear and gird sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teats. Right? So all of the government goodies, all of that's going to go. No. Right? All of that's going to go. Right? For the pleasant fields. For the fruitful vine, right? So all of, all of your goodies gone gone, and you gone you gonna be in straits, man. And all of them wild ass niggas that I mean, you, hey, she treats her son like that. Imagine now she treats niggas that she's dealt with before, right? Imagine now she treats men that she's dealt with before, right? So when the time comes, man, women like her go get it. Sugar one.